decimals with parentheses. When you see decimals with parentheses, like this, side by side with no sign, add, subtract, multiply, or divide in between them, it means to multiply. When you multiply, you do exactly the same way as you would with whole numbers without decimals. You put the number with the most digits on top. For the answer, you count the total number of spaces for each decimal point from right to left. Remember to add zeros to hold place values if you need to. And also remember that whole numbers have an invisible decimal point to their right. 2 would become 2.0. So for 2.1 times 4.3, to make it easier, we would take it out of sentence form and stack them with decimal points lining up. Then we would multiply them as if there were no decimal point. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we would do the ones place on this side, which is really the ones place because here's a decimal point. 4 times 1 is 4, and because we're multiplying this number, we do it in this column. And 4 times 2 is 8. Now we add them up. 3, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry the 1, 9. And now, number 2 says, count the total number of spaces for each decimal point from right to left for the answer. So, we're going to go start counting here and go one, two. So our answer needs two swipes. One, two. So the answer, the product, is 9.03 or 9 and 3 one hundredths. Look at this one. The second number is way longer and larger than the first one. So what we do is we put the number with the most digits on top. So I put this one on top and this one on the bottom. And now we're going to multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. And because we're multiplying this number in this column, the answer goes there. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. And 3 times 0 is 0. Now we add 2, 6, 0, 0, 0. Now, how many decimal points do we need? Let's swipe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So starting here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 0. 0.00062 or 62 ten thousandths. Anytime you see numbers side by side like this, that means to multiply. Remember that whole numbers have an invisible decimal point to their right.